<laughs> oh man. If one trialing jacket wasn't enough, there's a second. And I mean, look at the satin finish on that bad Oscar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Good morning and welcome to Retro Bassin. In a minute or two, I'm going to crack open what I think is going to be one epic piece of mail call from my Bassin bud Todd over at the Bassin 101 YouTube channel. But before we do that and I talk about Todd's YouTube channel and show you that pretty epic piece of mail that I've been sitting on for a minute or two, a few little housekeeping items to take care of here at the channel. First off, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment from fishing days gone past. Well, stick around, consider subscribing, and be sure to hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. So apologies in advance for, for missing the Saturday drop on the video. I actually missed it for good reason. Uh, turns out I've got to head west to San Diego Monday for work. And I was scrambling on Friday, trying to do a little packing, in particular, a little bit of lure packing. I'm going to be out in San Diego for two days, hopefully targeting some spotted bay bass while I'm out there. Uh, bass and buds, though, if we do have any folks who are out there in the San Diego area and you know of an old school tackle shop, that you want this guy to check out, definitely hurry up and drop a comment down below before I board that plane heading west. Also, too, you might have noticed we've got some uh, fresh look and retro bass and apparel. We just had a bunch of new colors drop, and you can check that out over at txprovisions.com. By the way, if you use the code RETRODECAL at checkout, uh, I'll throw in a free retro bass and slap for you with any hat purchase. So now let's talk about <laughs> the sender of the mail today. You guys have heard me talking about uh, Bassin 101, and it's a channel that's kind of just getting off the ground, but Todd is doing some really cool stuff over there. In a lot of ways, he actually reminds me of Randy Blaukett. He's got a nice, no-nonsense approach to bass fishing, and he is dropping some old-school knowledge on a weekly basis. Whether it is Todd showing you how to boil a sluggo to have a more supple bait, uh, or maybe talking about some of your confidence baits from days gone past, definitely go ahead and check out Bassin 101. I'll drop all the contact information for that channel down below. It's kind of crazy that this channel is on the cusp of about 10,000 subscribers, which I feel like it took a long time, but I feel like it happened pretty quick. Well, I first met Todd when this channel was about 250 subscribers deep. He was dropping some really insightful comments on some of my initial videos. We ended up connecting and basically became bass and buds. So he and I sent some stuff back and forth to one another. And he already prepped me in advance that this unboxing is going to be epic. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so let me clear away some of the merch and we'll get to it. <laughs> All right, well, here is uh, the box from Todd. And does this thing have a weight on it? Um, that's a good 10 pounder. <laughs> and what does it say here? It says, open here, uh, epic unboxing uh, from Todd at Bassin 101. Wait a back job here. <laughs> All right, I gotta move this thing so I'm like not out of frame. 
All right, we've got a little note from uh, Bass and Bud Todd. Let's see what it says. It says, Dear Retro Bro, you may want to sit down for this one. Luckily, I film and I fish sitting down. <laughs> We've been cleaning out the closets, and I've decided to pass a few things down for someone who would appreciate them for their historical nerdiness. I can't wear them all. Wear? <laughs> so hopefully you might find these cool enough to wear in future episodes. Uh, by the way, if it helps that we uh, wear the same size. <laughs> May the Father bless you and your family, Todd at Bassin 101. P.S. Uh, there's an old school topwater bait I made a couple years ago. Enjoy walking it like a spitting image. Oh. <laughs> well, this is good though because I haven't actually packed my suitcase for San Diego. So, Todd, um, I don't know. Maybe you help me pack. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know uh, the extent of what we got inside, but I see a couple of old school BASS patches. Ooh, what do we start with? The red or the black? Let's go with the black. Um, I'm going to just move this thing over to the side a little bit. All right, what do we have? Here. <laughs> well, first off, holy cow, that is a honey of a jacket. Uh, this is Berkeley Lightning Rod, which I don't know if you know this, Todd, but the first bait casting rod I ever had was a Berkeley Lightning Rod. Uh, I think it was like 102% fiberglass at the time, so I'm sure the ones you were throwing back in the 90s are probably a little bit more uh, souped up than mine. Wow, that is a beaut. Wow, look at that. That is a good looking jacket. And uh, and yeah, that'll fit. <laughs> I'll definitely wear it fishing, job interviews, you know, all over the place. Wow, all right, what else we got? Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. So look at that jacket. So that is Berkeley Trilene. Woo! <laughs> and look at <laughs> down the sleeve. Oh, wow. Brother, thank you so much, man. That is a good looking piece of cloth. Woo! <laughs> Can you imagine being on a plane and seeing an old retro walking down the aisle wearing this? <sighs> I think he did clean out the closet, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so if you didn't know, Todd is a huge Daiwa guy. Whenever one of my reels is acting up, I usually send it his way for him to do his magic on it. So, wow, that he parted with a Daiwa sweatshirt. Man, that is awesome. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yep, the old Charlie Brewer slider worm. Oh, man. I have been meaning, I know I say this a lot, but I've been meaning to do a slider fishing episode. I've actually got a slider rod rigged up and ready to go. And I know that Todd is a huge slider guy, um, as is another buddy of mine on Instagram, Flintlock Dave. So, uh, guys, trust me, at some point real soon, that slider episode's gonna happen. But maybe when it does, if it cools down enough, I'll be rocking this. <laughs> oh man, if one trialing jacket wasn't enough, there's a second. And I mean, look at the satin finish on that bad Oscar. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up that, but that is just a glorious piece of rayon jacket if I've ever seen one. Wow. They just keep coming and coming. 
What do we have here? Ooh, um, another slider, oh, sweatshirt. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna totally have to wear a piece of slider apparel for at least part of that episode. Again, as long as it's not like 100 degrees in Texas, cause you know, it's September and that's kind of how it is here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, okay, so this is the uh, <laughs> the piece de la resistance of old school goodness right here. Look at that shirt. That is just a nice old school polo, Berkeley trilene. It's got the, the classic pocket, a little bass. I mean, if this is not the kind of shirt that Jimmy Houston used to wear in 1984 on a Saturday morning, I don't know what is. Oh man, son. <laughs> awesome. So I think Todd said there was a lure somewhere around here. So I'm gonna look for the lure as well. Let's see. Oh. Okay, so here's the lure. Wait, what is this? Oh, hold on. P.S. I threw an old school top water bait I made a couple years ago. Enjoy walking it like a spitting image. Okay. Ooh. This, Todd, brother. Wow, look at that. So that is a gorgeous looking bait, look at that. That is a solid chunk of wood right there. Really unique top water, man. Um, first off, the profile of it, it's really teardrop shaped. Look at that, that uh, nose is much wider than the tail. And then the tail, it's got this gorgeous feather on it. But look at that weight. Oh, son, I guarantee that sucker sits just like that in the water. When you twitch it, oh. Wow, Todd, um, I don't know, Bass and Buds. Look at that bait, I think Todd should be making baits. What do you think, huh? <laughs> wow, that is gorgeous. And that is 100% gonna go in the old top water box. I will throw this on some heavy line so I don't lose it. But wow, that is, that's a good looking bait and super unique. So Todd, thank you so much, buddy, for the old school duds. You are darn tootin' I'm gonna wear those. And um, as the Bass and Buds will attest. Do me a favor, Bass and Buds, head on over to Todd's YouTube channel. Give him a like and a subscribe. He has been dropping some old school goodness on a weekly basis. He's taught me a ton in our conversations over the past year or so, and I'm sure that he's gonna teach you guys a ton as well. Wish me luck out in California. Uh, definitely hit me up on either the messages here or Instagram if you've got a hot tip for while I'm out there. And I'll be out there Monday and Tuesday and then heading on back to Texas. Until next time, Bass and Buds, keep the carpet side up. Definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.